What's up guys, I'm back with a new video. And in today's video, I'm gonna be doing a review of this. The Bibenku wireless USB PowerPoint or Keynote remote. So, stay tuned. So I've recently started using Keynote a lot more on my MacBook Pro, and I was noticing that I was having an issue with controlling slides that had um, videos in them. So I'd make you know, a, a Keynote slide that would have a a video in it and trying to get the video to play while in full screen mode the uh, the Apple remote wouldn't work it would actually shrink back down to um, out of full size mode and so I was getting a little frustrated with that I was looking um, for different remotes that would be compatible with Apple and I came across this this little remote right here uh, like I said it's made by a company called Bibenku and it's compatible with both Apple and Microsoft computers and in addition to being a wireless presenter it also has a laser pointer attached on it and it's hard to believe but I found this little device on Amazon for about fifteen dollars uh, and it's got nothing but great reviews so what I want to do is I want to go ahead and uh, show it to you guys and then show you how it works so in the uh, Getting into the presentation, the first thing you have here is this little sleeve that comes off. Um, the only thing it has on the back is the fact that it's a Bibenku RF 2.4 gigahertz wireless USB PowerPoint presenter remote control slash laser pointer pen. And like I said, if you look in the um, description on Amazon, you'll see that this works with both Apple computers and Microsoft computers. So there's no problem there. Um, Going back to the box here, it's a very nice uh, presentation here. It's got a nice little box, and this device is really, really small. So inside the box you have, uh, the first thing you have is this little travel pouch. And this is a really nice touch because, you know, a manufacturer really doesn't have to do this. Uh, I don't know if this is coming across, but it's got the little... Uh, company branding on the front of it being cool um, so this is nice you can carry this uh, your remote around in this um, additionally inside there's a couple of uh, packets you know your warranty information your instruction manual and then you actually have the device itself and this is it it's really uh, so I was surprised with how small it is. This is it right here, and it I don't know if you can really get a good feel for how small this is, but in a couple minutes when I demo it on my MacBook Pro, I'll show you the size of it in comparison to the Apple remote. Now this runs, this is not a Bluetooth remote, so inside it runs on a single AAA battery which goes right in here, but also you'll notice that tucked away in the corner is the USB receiver. Uh, right here this is what's going to go in your computer and allow it to work now looking at this it's a little longer than uh, most unifying or USB receivers are but it shouldn't be a problem I did see some uh, reviews on Amazon where people were kind of complaining about the uh, how far it stuck out and I think that's just a matter of people being people they're going to find something to complain about no matter how uh, a manufacturer goes about making something. There's always going to be those folks that complain. Uh, but anyway, uh, looking at the controls here on the remote, and I'm just going to go from top to bottom at the top here where the two uh, squares are, you've got a dark screen button. So what you can do is you can use that to actually um, bring your present, uh, start your presentation or to end it. A lot of times, you know, <laughs> Back in the uh, day before, you know, when people would end a presentation slide, there'd be this, you know, the presentation in the room would be dark, and then all of a sudden you get this screen where it's just white light and it <laughs> practically blind everybody. So now you can use this to um, actually cover that up. Uh, right here on the right hand side, you've got your next page or your forward button uh, right here, and then your reverse button is right here. So that controls both of your. Uh, directions while using your PowerPoint slide. In the center right here is your laser pointer. So that this big button in the center is what you would use to activate it. And you'll actually see, uh, so that here, 
right up here I don't know if you can see if that comes across really well or not but you can see the tip of it you also have uh, right up here in the corner your on off switch uh, yeah right up there in the corner is your on off switch and the last button that you have on the front of the remote right here is your escape or resume button so if you have to stop for a second you can press that and then it'll uh, come out and then if you want to go right back into your slide you press this and it'll go right back in so now it's time for us to actually hook it up and see how it works uh, one more thing I want to cover real quick in addition to having that unifying receipt the USB re uh, receiver in here you've also got this button right here that says connect uh, my fingers covering it but it says connect that's what you're going to use to pair this device to your computer with the USB receiver alright so having shown you all of this here stuff let's go demo it and compare it to the size of the Apple remote okay so at this point I just put in the USB receiver and as you can see there's a blue light flashing on it so that's calling for us to take some type of action if you have this issue where it's constantly flashing and your computer is not establishing the link then what you want to do is you want to go ahead and press this connect button as soon as I press that this stopped flashing and became solid so I'm assuming that at this point the remote is ready to go and also really quick uh, let's want to do a quick comparison in the size so you see right here this is the BBQ remote and this is the Apple remote so it's not a great deal of difference in size but it is enough to where you'll notice it the Apple remote is considerably uh, longer and this but the BBQ is thicker and that's simply because it's got the a battery compartment in it it's also got a laser pointer so here's what we have right here these are some slides that I was working on before just doing a uh, family devotional um, and using this uh, remote it works fine I'll, in order to advance through the slide I just press forward and then if I want to highlight something in particular there's the laser pointer now the issue that I was having is not so much not being able to do that with the Apple remote as you can see here it's still it works because it's still paired with this computer but my issue was more so from being able to control media within slides so for example uh, okay so let's set this here this is how I would start the slide and then when you advance to the next one there's a video if I want to play this video I notice what I've done is I've started the video on here but I've also started it I'm running into a slight problem here because I've got this Apple remote paired on two devices. I've got it paired on my iMac and my MacBook Pro and what's happening is whenever I hit play it's starting a song in iTunes but it's also um, I believe it's playing the video uh, here and this is something that wasn't working last week. Okay, So I can use this here to actually start a video I can fast forward to the next so if you have videos ingrained in your your slides whether they're PowerPoint or uh, Keynote what let me go back to the first slide here alright so this is my introduction slide when I go to my next slide that's pressing the forward button once that brings up this screen where the video is if I want to play the video I simply hit it again the video starts to play. Once that's done, if I want to fast forward to the or advance to the next slide, I press forward. You see the next video is embedded. Hit play again. There's the video. Here's the next slide. There's the video. And then the last slide. Well, the, the next slides. So this has really uh, 
this really meets the need that I was looking for it to do. I'm not getting the issues that I was getting with my Apple remote where I'd have the, the video in full size mode like this and go and hit play and it would come out of the video. That was uh, kind of frustrating, especially when you're trying to have a slideshow. All right, guys, so that's it. That's my review of the Bebenku wireless keynote PowerPoint remote presenter with laser pointer. If you guys have any questions, any comments, please leave that down in the comment section below, and I will catch you in the next video. Peace.